Pisces, this is soul here. And Pisces, hey, we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to be tossing some cards from the um, Nothing But The Tea deck. It's a large deck full of messages. And what I'm going to do is uh, focus on relationships. And I just want to get the energies of what the persons that you may be dealing with, the situation that you may be in, their feelings and their thoughts of you. Um, you know, and how their, you know, energy may be. Um, you know, connected to you. If there's, you know, any types of connection going on here, these messages here on these cards are very explicit and sometimes very direct, but also, too, they're meaningful. They have some sort of meaning, um, meaningful energy. So, but, you know, as I always say, whether, you know, or not doing general reading or whatnot, which I'm still going to provide to do a general reading for you for Labor Day, but I just wanted to use this deck. Um, because it's a brand new deck and I'm um, just curious to see how it goes over um, so yeah so don't forget to comment um, you know definitely like the a video and I'm going to also be tossing um, some cards from the Arcam which is probably going to be the deck that I use to do the weeklies and there are some uh, reversals here I'm going to keep the reversals when I do the uh, general um, weekly reading for you for Labor Day. All right, so this is for Pisces suns, moons, and Pisces rising signs. Uh, these cards are definitely read in the reverse, but you know, if I turn one over and it's you know reversed, <laughs> the messages have to be read in the upright position. All right, so the energies for uh, Pisces suns, moons, rising singles, couples, Pisces who are into same sex loving energies. Remember, these are the feelings and the thoughts of the persons of interest or in relationships, crushes, uh, situations. All right, and let's begin. So the very first card here for you and the thoughts of the person towards you, Pisces, relates to unrequited feelings. There we go. Unrequited feelings is self-explanatory. So their energy is that they um, possibly do not feel the same way that you do in terms of the of feelings. So this is not something that, you know, I'm going to interpret uh, is going both ways. Remember, I said these are going to be the thoughts and the feelings towards um, you involving your person. All right, so unrequited feelings um, is showing up here for you. The next message is uh, I got options. Someone is letting you know that they have options. You may be dating somebody else, but if things aren't working out too well, that they're letting you know that you're not the only one. Uh, there's, you know, other people to see. I got options. Next up is party with me. So you have somebody who wants to party with you, um, Pisces, because they find you to be uh, fun and happy and um, a good person to be around. All right. Next up is um, manifesting spell work. So we got to be careful with this one here uh, when it comes to the manifestation of spell work, because somebody be, you know, they might be trying to manifest you through the work of spell work but usually when you're casting spells and doing potions and you know especially if it's love potions and shit like that it's going to backfire on them those things never work all right so somebody uh is trying to do some uh manifesting trying to you know get you into a relationship with them by the use of spell work Interesting. Next up is uh, I see right through you. So somebody sees right through you, Pisces. They understand you. Um, so if there's some sort of shade going on that you're tossing towards them, they, this person understands that they they can see right through you. They know you better than you know you might know yourself. Wow, it might be another Pisces. <laughs> Oh, you guys are very intuitive. Anyway, up next is uh, love at first sight. So, yeah, this could be the uh, energy where, you know, you could be in a relationship with somebody who just, you know, fell highly attractive or fell highly in love with you. The energies here are fluid. So we're, this is a Labor Day uh, weekend special. So, you know, take these energies however you see fit. So you could be that single Pisces who out there and then, you know, 
this person sees you and then they fall in love, for, you know, love at first sight does happen. So that could be you if you are the single Pisces. Next message is fighting this connection. So someone is like in a situation with you where they seem like they're boxing themselves, fighting themselves, trying to make it. Oh, my gosh. Trying to make it right. You know, might be fighting a, a lost cause here. Because, you know, there's the parties aren't, you know, um, seeing eye to eye with one another, being equal in terms of, you know, expected outcomes. Next up is uh, saying goodbye. So somebody could be saying goodbye. They write by with the lipsticks, with the X's, saying goodbye. I'm out. Only when I want it. This came up before, and I'm, I'm reading this as only when I want it. You see the shirt is off, so obviously we're talking about sex. They only want sex with you when they want it, not when it's mutual. And maybe that's all they want is the sex. Okay, next one up is I got to figure it out. Somebody is, um, you know, possibly interested in you here, Pisces, but they're trying to figure out, you know, what they feel for you. So, you know, they want to be possibly left alone to figure the shit out. I got to figure it out, Pisces. I got to figure it out. Let me figure it out. Leave me be for a minute. I got to figure it out. All right. So next one up is up in smoke. So the relationship is up in smoke. It could be just physical smoke that they are, you know, someone who is a smoker. It could be a cigarette smoking, weed smoker, but it's up in smoke or the relationship is up in smoke. Next one up is over it. Stalemate. Okay. Can't come to an agreement with each other. So things are stalled. Uh, there's no progression or the person feels that there's no uh, progression with you. And I'm noticing that um, on his hand, he has a wedding ring. So this could be married partners and something is going on that's, you know, um, led to some sort of stalemate or um, a lack of progression. Okay, following that is um, I can't, you know, it says I can't stop my flow. That message, however you want to use that, can't stop my flow. And then the uh, last one here I'm going to toss is wasn't born yesterday. Wasn't born yesterday is because the person can see right through you. <laughs> okay, they weren't born yesterday. You know that old saying is like, yeah. Do I look like I was born yesterday? So they know exactly where you're coming from and they can see right through you. Okay, so be careful with that energy, Pisces. All right, so those are your messages here. Like I said, I want to keep this very simple. This is just a uh, experiment here uh, for Labor Day weekend. And now we're going to toss some messages for you from the Arcam uh, Tarot deck. And I'm only pulling four cards just to get additional energies. First one up is the uh, devil. Yep, the devil here is the major arcana, showing you what the devil looks like in the uh, upright. And then the devil actually in the reverse is pretty good because this is the ending of some sort of obsessive or toxic um, behaviors. Whether is it the person, well, it is going to be the person that has an interest uh, in their intentions towards you. Maybe this person here, um, was dealing with, you know, drugs or something like that, drinking. Maybe they decided that, you know, it was impacting or affecting the relationship with you and they needed a change. And so now the chains and the bonds are, you know, broken. Someone may have been, um, you know, um, doing this and then seeking out, um, you know, going to like AA or something like that to get help. This is actually pretty good, Pisces. When the devil shows up in the reverse, it's really pretty good. Remember, when the devil's in the upright, it's always that illusion that is cast and that you have to believe people when they show you who they are. So this person here is uh, is least trying to act genuine, um, make a difference in terms of uh, their toxic behaviors, you know, that were, you know, um, impacting the relationship that were you know that was with you somebody is definitely given up some sort of addiction 
uh, willing to stop drinking, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes. Um, maybe it could be that they are taking less time, um, pulling, putting in less hours at work. Because always get someone is working too much. And then that way, if they're working too much, when the devil's in the upright, then their social life or their romantic life, family life is suffering. Now with the reversal of that energy, no, they're willing to make a change. They um, saw the energy for what it was, and now they're, they're, they're willing to take uh, drastic changes to make a difference for the better. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo represent that devil in the reverse. Up next is the Ace of Pentacles. Well, there's somebody here who has an offering here. Um, someone wants to offer you a uh, relationship Pisces that is based on security, stability, and long-term energies. This They want to invest in you, okay? Think of that. The Ace of Pentacles, they want to invest their energy into you. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Next, we have the King of Cups. There we go. There's the person, your own energy. So this person here... Uh, has a lot of love for you, a lot of emotions, and uh, just want to be clear, when these cards come out here, this is not a spread where it's just like, it's just for one particular Pisces and the entire event of the messages are for you. No, there's many messages here for all Pisces, and you know, you're not going to resonate with all of these messages here, so I always tell you to take out what uh, resonates and leave the rest behind, but you know, these messages are specific. So the King of Cups is someone who is, um, you could be in a person or in a relationship with this person currently, or they're overly emotionally, uh, they could be in love with you, definitely, or they're just, you know, coming across as that supporter, that family supporter, um, they could be the nurturer, all right, so there's somebody here um, coming forth with good intentions and good emotions, all right, the last card that I'm going to draw for you is the uh, star card. Now, how did this re end up in reverse? It was in the upright the last time. Anyway, so this is the uh, hopes, wishes, and dreams and manifestation. In the reverse, those hopes and dreams and manifestations are still coming, but it may take a little bit longer. So the person that may be hoping or wishing um, to connect with you, it may be based on your own energies and this is what they're feeling, that they hope to get, you know, connect with you, Pisces. They hope to get into a relationship uh, with you. But in the reverse, it's just signifying to me that there may be something going on with you that may be preventing this person to manifest or, um, you know, bring their uh, hopes or wishes to fruition. All right. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. Like I said before, this was just an experiment. I wanted to try and get out of the way. Labor Day weekend special. So be safe with all you do. I will still do the weekly general readings for the week. And also um, just, you know, be safe, be well, keep smiling for me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.